Hi, that's me, Rachel, in the picture there, with my husband, Tom. We've been trying for a baby for a little while now, but recently we decided to try IVF. Like you, I've just been prescribed Gonal F. Today, I want to show you how to inject yourself using the Gonal F pre-filled pen. You'll see that it can be quite easy. As well as watching this video, make sure you read the leaflet that comes in your pack with your pen. But before you get started, make sure you've washed your hands properly, just like I did. You'll also need to make sure you have all the things you need for your injection. The Gonal F pre-filled pen, alcohol swabs, and a needle. If you're keeping your pen in the fridge, it's best if you take it out about half an hour before you want to inject, to let it get to room temperature. That will make it a bit more comfortable when you inject. Before you use the pen, make sure you check the expiry date. First, take off the pen cap and take a close look at the solution in the drug reservoir. The solution should be clear with no particles in it. You must not use it if it isn't clear or if it contains particles. Okay, so mine looks fine. Before attaching the needle, first check that the dose is at zero and check that the seal on the outer needle cap is intact. If it's damaged or loose, you should dispose of this needle and use a new one. If the seal is all okay, simply peel it off. Then put the threaded end of the pen into the outer needle cap. You'll need to screw it in until it's firmly locked in place. Not too tight though, or it might be hard to take it off again. Then pull off the outer needle cap. Keep it handy though, as you'll need it later. And now, remove the green inner needle shield. Before using your pen for the first time, you'll need to make sure there's no trapped air. To do this, Look carefully at the tip of the needle for a tiny drop of fluid. If you can see one, then there shouldn't be any air trapped and your pen is ready to use. You can then skip straight to the next step to see how to set the dose. If you can't see a drop of fluid, you'll need to do a few simple things to remove the trapped air. First, you need to set the dose to 25 units by turning the red dose setting knob. Then, as you hold the pen with the needle pointing upwards, like I am here, just gently tap on the drug reservoir, like this. While still keeping the pen upright, push the dose setting knob in fully until the dial returns to zero. You should be able to see a small drop of fluid, like this one, at the tip of the needle. This means that you've removed all the air. If you still can't see a drop of fluid, you will need to repeat these steps until you see one. Don't worry, there is always a bit of extra fluid in the pen, so you will have enough for your dose. So, now we're ready to set the dose. All you need to do is turn the red dose setting knob until your prescribed dose appears in this window here on the side of the pen. Don't worry if you go past it, you can turn it back the other way until you get the right dose. Make sure you double check that the dose you've set is the one prescribed by your doctor before you inject yourself. Your doctor or nurse will have talked to you about how and where on your body you should inject. It's best to choose a different injection site each day so it doesn't become uncomfortable for you. You'll need to clean your skin with an alcohol swab in the place where you're going to inject. You can let it dry in the air. Now we're ready to inject. There we go, it's in. Just like that. When you've inserted the needle, just push the red dose setting knob down and keep it pressed down for at least five seconds. And when you're done, take the needle out, making sure you keep pressing the red knob down until you've taken the needle out completely. And that's it, all done. So now just press down on the site of your injection with an alcohol swab or cotton pad for a few seconds. Now you've finished your injection, you'll need to make sure that you've injected your full dose. The dose window should show zero, like mine here, see? Sometimes the display may show a number higher than zero. This means the pen has run out of solution and the full prescribed dose hasn't been given. 
The number shown is the missing amount that you'll then have to inject using a new pre-filled pen. If that happens, prepare a new pen like I've just shown you and set the dose to the exact number displayed in the dose window of the empty pen and then do a new injection. Now you've finished, you just need to take the needle off and put the pen away. First, put the outer needle cap on a flat surface. Then hold in your pen with one hand, very carefully push the needle into the outer needle cap. Push it against a firm surface, like this, until you hear it click. After it's clicked into place, pick up the outer needle cap and unscrew the needle by turning it anti-clockwise. You can then throw away the needle cap with a used needle inside. Now you can put the pen cap back onto the pen and store it in a safe place away from sunlight or in the fridge if you prefer. IVF can feel like a bit of a roller coaster at times and you might even feel overwhelmed. But as you can see, injecting your gonal F can be quite easy and it tends to get even easier as you go along. Thanks for watching. Stay positive. Hopefully your treatment will help you to fulfill your dream of having a family.